I want to suck your blood. I grimaced at the proclamation. Gross. Count Von Duke huffed and his shoulders slumped. Please? Dude, no. Go suck somebody else's blood. I turned to climb the stairs and then stopped. Shit. I can't remember. My room is up the stairs and to the right, yeah? I will tell you. For a small fee. Uh, never mind. I rolled my eyes. I'll find it myself. Count Von Duke laughed menacingly as I ascended further up the stairs. You will find that your room is not on the right. Lightning flashed, followed by a quake of thunder. But rather, to the left. I paused at the top of the stairs and looked down to the right side hallway. I recognize where I'm at now. It's on the right. Count Von Duke perked up. Oh, well, I meant my left, which would be your right. Uh-huh, I said as I continued into my room. I'd really like to suck that. I shut the door and promptly locked it. Oh, I want to wear it all, I muttered to myself. And in that precise moment, there was a knocking at the door. I spun around, startled. Who is it? It is I, the Count. How'd you get up here so fast? There was a momentary pause before he answered. I took the steps two at a time. I did the math in my head. Still seems unnaturally quick. It is my shoes. They're designed for superior athleticism. What kind of shoes? They are of the basketball variety. Behold! I stood close to the door, listening as the Count's shoes squeaked down the hall, along with the whipping sound of his cape. I snorted at the absurdity of it, then flinched as there was a sudden crashing of glass behind me. A little black bat whizzed from the broken window towards me and slammed hard against the wall. <gasps> Holy shit! I gasped. I hesitated a moment and then knelt down to look at the creature, which lay motionless on the floor. But as I reached out to give it a gentle poke, the bat began to morph into something larger, and in a blink it had become Count Von Duke. Gah! He cried, his nose broken and bloody. What the hell just happened? I came in too fast. He shouted through cupped hands as he stood up and propped himself up against the wall. You were a bat. The Count sighed and removed his hands from his face, revealing bloodied fangs beneath a crooked nose. He lunged at my throat with his open mouth, sneakers squeaking as he moved. I dove out of the way in the nick of time. He squeaked right past me and collided with another wall. You're not getting a single sip of my blood, Von Duke. He spun around, wild-eyed. I will drain you of every ounce of... I chucked a piece of garlic at the Count, and he immediately recoiled and hissed. Why did you have that in your pocket? I shrugged. The Count appeared to be experiencing great anxiety as he glared at the small piece of garlic laying near his feet. Oh, dear God, please just get it away from me. Um, no. I raced for the door, suitcase in hand. I won't suck your blood, I swear. Don't believe you. I rushed down the stairs and out the centuries-old castle, right as a final squeak of Count Von Duke's sneaker could be heard.